What's worse, being dumped or doing the dumping? I mean, honestly, they both suck, but let's talk to some guys about it. Have you ever been dumped? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you'd have to, I think that would have to be called a dump. Uh, <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been dumped. Have you been dumped? I have not been dumped. Who has been dumped? Um, I guess you think Beyonce people. been dumped? Hell no! Nah. I've been rejected, but I've never been dumped. Look at me, of course I have. <laughs> I feel it was kind of mutual. Well, no, okay. Yeah, I guess I have. Yeah, but I've been done five times by the same person. Oh my God, this has become a therapy Wait, session. Wait, you've been I've only dated two women and one of them's my wife. Aww. Don't do that. Have you ever done the dumping? Mm-hmm, yeah. I think I've mostly been the kind of piece of shit up to this point in my life where like, the dumping is predominantly has been me being like, I can't be a boyfriend. I'm not, I'm not a good, I'm not a boyfriend. I'm not and, then they, girl. and then they finally leave and I'm like, no, why? Did Why are you hurting me like this? Did you become Australian? No, I don't know what I became. That's, I'm like, oh God, I'm putting up walls already. I can tell. <laughs> she didn't return my calls like yeah. for like a night, and then I called her house and her mom picked up, and I was like, I guess just to tell her that we're we're over, just to make it seem like, oh yeah, I'm the one doing it. Have I dumped people? Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah, recorded. <laughs> my first boyfriend in high school. Uh, he faked his death after I broke up with him. Oh my God. That is oh, not shit. on you. Oh yeah, I've been dumped on national TV too. I forgot I about that. I was about to ask you, like, you dumped on national television. <laughs> I've been dumped How and I've dumped. Feel? Are okay, you triggered a little bad. bit too? I don't want to talk about okay. it. <laughs> he had the dumbest fake death of all time. What was it? He, he pretended he died going down a water slide. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember one of the worst feelings was after being dumped, like still trying to talk to the girl on instant messenger <laughs> and just saying, hey, and then waiting like five minutes, no response, and then that door closing sound. <laughs> oh, no. I try to remove the person completely, like, um, like block them, all that stuff, because it helps with the process the most. But it's not easy, no matter what. This is what I'm talking about, though. When you dump someone, the person you're dumping, you're gonna see their emotional response to it. If you're empathetic at all, you're gonna experience that too. But nowadays, more and more people are doing that, maybe via text or via email, and it's just like, well, that felt good. Yeah. Can we um, have a little role play moment where one of you breaks up with the other? Do you yes. wanna be the, do you wanna break up with me? You know what, I'll do it because I've never really broke up with someone. Good. So let yeah, me see how it feels. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's powerful. Right. I love our time together. Do you want to watch House or Castle tonight? Um, that's what I've been meaning to talk to you about. I just feel like I need to have some alone time to myself. Don't take it personal. I love Outback Steakhouse. Thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday, by the I way. I feel like you haven't been paying attention to like that I'm doing this vegetarian thing for a while, and you like Outback Steakhouse, but that's okay. Listen, you had the blooming onion. Okay. You're right. So... I do love the blooming onion. <laughs> I love you. I, I love you too. However, comma. <laughs> but, Do you want uh, any ice cream? Cause that's the problem. You just keep talking, you know. And like, <laughs> I would like to bloom uh, as my own type of onion. Okay. Not with you. I'm crowding my space. I need you to just like. Do you? Do you back want up. more room on the bed? I don't, I want all the room in the bed. I'm I, hungry, can you go get food? You gotta go. <laughs> just say what you wanna say. I'm sorry, this is happening on your birthday. Yeah, but... that's really mean. I think you'll do so much better without me in yeah, your life. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. No, it's fine. You're not gonna shake my hand? I don't feel comfortable with physical contact with you anymore. So I think we should see other people. We should just date. We should date other people. I think that's the best course of action anytime you're breaking up with somebody is to be kind but direct. See? Oh, oh, look at me, I did it! <laughs> If you're gonna let someone down, post blooming onion is a good time. Yeah. No, you, you know? take them to the outback. They're just bloated, but I don't mind because it tastes so good. Yeah, they're like, I just gotta get my sweatpants now either way. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any tips for anyone out there with a broken heart? Yeah. Don't give up. Like, Agreed. listen, like everybody gets broken up with, everybody's been dumped, like yeah. it just happens, relationships. Like. Can I be real for a second? I'm gonna be real real for a second. If you have a broken heart, honestly, you will get over it in due time. Like, time is the your best friend. Without time, you're screwed. But with it, you will get past this. Get you a good candle from Yankee Candle, sponsored. 
go and get you a good Beyonce, me, myself, and I. Just play it. Play the live version only. Yoga. Just start doing yoga. You can do all kinds of physical practices and they all have benefits. I will say of all of them I have found, yoga is the one that heals you. Sit in a room with just a candle, smell the aroma, put you a nice satin robe on, not the one from Kmart. Oh, and don't f somebody else real quickly because you'll feel bad. You'll feel bad. Ice cream. <laughs> Take your broken heart and turn it into art. Just don't ever give up on love. If you give up on love, you might as well give up on life. That's my only learning. I don't even want to talk that. Sorry, man, I just, you know. That was it, dude. Never give up on the only reason to be alive. And ice cream. Don't give up on love or ice cream. Like, at the end of the day, like, if you ever feeling down on yourself, just remember Sound Guy got married, so you can do it too. Wait, what? <laughs> it's yeah. true. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching our brand new show. Really hope you enjoyed. Let us know what other topics you want these guys to talk about and share their views on in the comments below. And then like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more. And then click over here because we wax Tom's thighs. It's entertaining. Also subscribe, the button's right there. Somewhere over here. Okay, bye.